I'm going to show you how I made this mono line drawing from this picture of my family. So I saw a lot of ads uh, popping up um, with framed uh, images like this for people to you know, do as gifts and things. I thought, man, that's a good idea, but I bet I can do it myself. So I wanted to give it a try. And so here's how I did it. Uh, one thing I will say you need would be some sort of uh, tablet of some sort with a pen. Um, that's going to make your life a whole lot easier. And also I use Illustrator. You could probably do this on an iPad. I don't know. Uh, but for me, this is just what I have. So this is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Illustrator. And I'm going to make a new file. Uh, 1500 by 1500 pixels is fine. It really doesn't matter because you could scale this up, scale it down. Just do it uh, somewhat uh, with the same dimensions as your photo. So I'm going to hit create. And I'm going to import my photo or just drag it in. So I'm going to picture my family here. We'll drop it in here. And I'm just going to scale it up again. You don't have to. I could zoom into that and just work off there. But I'm going to scale it up holding down shift so that it stays nice and proportionate. And that looks good there. And I'm going to go to my layers panel. And here's my photo in here. And I'm going to make sure it's selected. I'm going to go back to properties. And I'm going to change the opacity to like 30%. I'm going to go back to the layers panel. And I'm going to lock that layer so I don't move it at all. Uh, then I'm going to make a new layer. And we'll just call this lines. And we'll go back to properties. Leave that there for now. And so here is where I want to grab my pen. And I'm going to hit B on the keyboard for my uh, brush tool. And I'm actually just going to hit Z and I'm going to zoom in a little bit to my face, my wife here. So then I'd take my pen tool and I would start drawing here around uh, the outline just to see how things worked and realize this is going to look terrible. Uh, this looks like a th our third grader drew it, so I'm going to undo that. And then I realized that if I double click on the paintbrush tool over here, it would give me these options um, that I can change the fidelity. And that's the trick. So I would bump this pretty far up. You can go all the way to smooth and play with it. But for me, this was kind of the, the sweet spot. Um, you can play with these other options, but for now, we'll just keep everything as is. I'm going to hit OK. And I would also look at other um, options online, other uh, designers to see how they did these model line drawings. Did they, uh, what did they do with the hair? What did they do with hands? What did, they do, what did they do with facial expressions? So I just had to kind of find the style I wanted and then adapt to that. So from here, uh, just um, slowly, maybe zoom in even more, hit H on the keyboard for my hand tool and then back to B for that paintbrush tool. And you can use the brackets to make these, uh, make your brush a little bit smaller or bigger, but this looks about right. So uh, then I would just kind of start tracing and maybe stop right there. And maybe I will start with the ear and kind of come around the ear a little bit here. And you can see when I release that brush that it smooths out um, what it actually looked like. Because so if I just kind of do this and then let go, it makes it a little bit smoother. And again, so if I get, you know, really kind of wonky, it starts smoothing out and kind of cutting down some of the points that it's making on the brush. So now I can get there and start making these little lines here. But then start figuring out what you want to do as far as the style goes. So if I kind of zoom in this way, maybe I want to do like a loop, come down here with the collar, come this way like that. And whenever I would feel like the line was like I wanted it to be, I would pretty much just leave it. Um, so I'm going to undo that again. We'll do it one more time. So I'll come down this way, maybe do a loop, maybe do another loop like that, come down the arm. I will go almost as long as I could. Maybe come up this way. Okay, something like that. Then I'd hit H on the keyboard for my hand tool, kind of zoom around, make sure it looked good. Then I would zoom out to say like, okay, this this works or it doesn't work. Um, a lot of times I would also go back to the layers panel and turn off the photo to see how did it translate by itself. So not bad, probably not what I would choose to do there, but you get the idea. You can kind of just work around and figure out what works best for you. So hitting B on the keyboard, uh, I'll go back and maybe mess with the hair. So we'll come maybe around here and I'll just do like a little line. And I'd kind of play around with the hair options. Kind of make some spiky looks here. Okay, so that's pretty rough. Uh, my head doesn't look like that, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna zoom in. And this is where I wouldn't want the um, brush tool to have keep selected because um, I wouldn't want it to pick up where I left off. So. Um, here's where I would decide, okay, now I can uh, connect these if I like it or not. So I would hit A on the keyboard and I would click and drag. Oops, make sure my photo is locked here. There we go. Click and drag and select those two points here at the very end. And now I can right click on that and select join. And those would join up. And sometimes you could go in and hit P on the keyboard and delete those points if you didn't want them. Uh, or move them around if you needed to find, if you'd like to most things and maybe you just want to fine tune a couple things. Well, there we go. So this obviously looks a little rough, but hopefully for example's sake, it works. 
Okay, so I hit B on the keyboard again and zoom in. And maybe I would come this way. Something like that. Maybe add in the line here. Okay, and for my wife, I hit B for that brush tool and just kind of maybe do some, I'll do her facial features here. With the hair, I'm just making it kind of wavy. And so with that fidelity set on that brush to smooth out your lines, it makes it look much better and much more professional. All right, so I'm moving pretty quick, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna zoom out here, hit V on the keyboard, turn off that photo. So her hair looks rough. Uh, she would definitely not approve of that and want me to redo it. But, um, you know, after a lot of trial and error, after undoing, uh, erasing things, maybe tweaking some lines, you can really get that look to uh, be just right. So I won't bore you with doing the whole thing, but hopefully that gives you an idea of, of how those are made, at least in Illustrator with a pen tool. Um, this is my final, once I was done with it, we had it printed and added to the house, um, turned out pretty well. So before you run off to Etsy or wherever to get those uh, custom made for you, maybe you could do it yourself if you have a little time and these resources that I have, or maybe some of your own. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.